Welcome back to my channel guys, it's time for another manga review. This is going to be on a Vis Media volume. <laughs> Welcome back once again guys. I was given the privilege by Vis Media to review a copy for you guys. They gave me an online copy. I went out of the way and actually bought a physical copy. Um, it was actually already in my list of buying, so it just kind of all worked out. Uh, this is the first volume of Call of the Night. They provided me the second volume as well, so I will review the second volume as soon as I get to read it. Uh, so make sure you guys keep up with this reviews. Uh, before anything, guys, if you have not checked out Viz Media, Viz Media is quite a big company already. If you guys have never heard of it, it's the one that releases big names. Uh, you're talking about... Um, uh, the Pokemon series are released through Viz Media. Uh, you're talking about um, so many other show, shonen type of, 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 of a series that are, are there. I wish I had my collection behind me because uh, I would show you how much Viz Media I have. Um, unfortunately, I don't. Demon Slayer is another one that is very, very, very popular at the time with Viz Media. Uh, quite a bit of series released with them. Um, all the Shonen Jump series, so My Hero Academia, um, you have um, The Promised Neverland, I, can't, I, I was trying to remember that name, The Promised Neverland, releases through Viz Media, so Viz Media is a kind of big company, especially if, if it has Shonen Jump with it, so uh, if you haven't checked them out, I, I'll leave links down there below, but I also have a link where you guys can buy cheap manga and anime, and I recommend you to, to get this one, because this actually was a decent series. Um, I, I, I will review it, but before anything else, uh, again, if you haven't done so by now, subscribe to my channel. We're trying to reach to 4,500 by the end of the month. I think we can reach it. Uh, we just need your help, especially if you're watching this video um, and you want to see more manga reviews uh, or reaction videos, do so, um, and, and we'll get them out as fast as possible. Okay, uh, Call of the Night Volume 1 is genre-wise shonen. I'll put it there. Shonen romance, I, I think we want to uh, specify that because romance is such a broad genre. There, there is shonen romance, and I think this is where it fits there. Uh, and then there's shoujo romance, and then there's uh, other types of romances that I, I think wouldn't fit in either or. But this one is shonen romance. Uh, it, you also have a little bit of mystery, I guess you can say. It's, it's really just not knowing all the characters and their specific uh, backgrounds yet, but there's that mystery to it. And then you have the, the fantasy side to it because uh, it is actually a vampire series. And I'll, I'll explain to you in detail or what, it, what it is all about. But um, we have two main characters in the series. We have a boy who has insomnia. He cannot sleep. Um, and through his insomnia, he finally decides one day to leave the house and just walk around the city um, and just see how, what, what the world is like at night. Now, his name is Ko um, Yamani, I believe, uh, but they just call him Ko. So Ko is, walks around the city and he encounters uh, this one girl who is very stalkerish. Uh, he even invites him to her, her place and... For some reason, he still goes, even though he has a bunch of red flags. Uh, ends up being that she is actually a vampire, and um, she wanted to have a meal. And she she had a meal out of him, and she ends up actually loving his blood. There's something about his blood that she just loves. Um, so they end up making a weird um, agreement of him you know, being distracted with her and her allowing to eat his blood. Now, her name is Nazuna, and Nazuna apparently is centuries old. Um, she explains to him a few details of the vampires on this on the series, which I think will be important to explain, so I, I, I will say them. Uh, vampires are apparently common in the world in her, in her life. Uh, there's different types of vampires, but essentially for a vampire to make someone another vampire so if she wanted to make Ko into a vampire Ko and her would have to fall in love and then she would have to see his blood again and then that's when he would turn into a vampire now Ko wants to become a vampire because his insomnia is so big 
He doesn't want to go to school. He doesn't want to really live the life that he has as a human. So he wants to become a vampire, but he doesn't really understand the concept of love. So his whole goal in this series is to basically have Nazuna fall in love with him and him fall in love with her. Um, very interesting concept. She, on the other hand, doesn't really want that. She doesn't really want to have uh, vampire babies, what she calls them. Um, and for her, the word love is such an intimate word. Like, it's it's almost as if you said the word sex in front of her. She blushes. She doesn't really care about, you know, sex and, 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 and the word coitus or anything like that. But when it comes to love, she blushes a lot. Uh, I don't want to ruin the volume by explaining detail by detail of how the story runs. But essentially what ends up happening is that you have this interaction chapter after chapter of... Of him trying to get her to fall in love with him uh, and, and really him trying to understand what is love because he also needs to fall in love himself uh, and her kind of you know uh, explaining how uh, all this can be can be seen in, in you know in a whole different way in the vampire world um, there is a third character and I would say she's probably gonna be our main side character uh, she shows up towards maybe three fourths of the of the volume. Her name is Akira. Uh, at one point, the vampire Nazuna and Ko can't really find each other sometimes at night. So Ko devises a, a plan where they have walkie talkies, watches, so they can actually communicate with each other. Well, he he ends up telling a story about him having an old one that he he had no friends. So what he ended up doing is he he hid one in hope that someone would find it. Someone did find it and it ended up being actually one of his childhood friends, Akira. Um, now, Akira, you can definitely get from, you can definitely see from the get-go that Akira likes Ko. She has some respect for him. She she has feelings for him. It's very obvious for the readers. Uh, it's very obvious for Nazuna. It's not so obvious to Ko. Again, Ko doesn't really understand love. So, she is coming in and kind of like as a second love interest, breaking kind of the the flow and and the the wellness that we had already built between Nazuna and Ko. Uh, now, big things happen in the last uh, chapter that I don't want to ruin, so I won't say. But because of this jealousy, big things happen towards the end of the of the volume, and you guys have just have to read it. Um, overall, I liked it. There is one thing that I I was maybe not so happy about is that because um, the way that chapters release in Japan, the way that when you compose it into a volume, it, it just, it there's there's this feeling of repetitiveness, repetitiveness that can be overwhelming for a reader. Um, and what I mean by this is uh, at the beginning of a lot of the chapters, they would summarize the whole three, four, five chapters you had already read in the first three pages. Like, hey, my name is Ko, and I'm a human, and she's a vampire. Like, it almost felt like almost every beginning of a chapter, it had that summary. Um, and again, it makes sense in a Japanese culture where the chapter is releasing by weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, whatever they chose to release this chapters by that makes sense because you read a chapter one week and then it, it you know after a whole few days you forget kind of what's going on so you get that little recap at the beginning of the of the next chapter and that helps but when you compile it into a volume it almost feels like it's so repetitive like okay i understand you're a human she's a vampire and i understand what your goals are like why you keep repeating this it kind of feels overwhelming uh now me as as a manga reader that I, I, I've been reading manga for, for quite a bit of years now. Um, I understand how they, the, the manga is created. So I understood, like, okay, this is this is because this is how it was released, uh, which makes sense. Uh, personally, I would have liked that in other series that they didn't do because um, they had already, we're going to compile this into a volume in mind. So, uh, but this one really didn't. So that's the only negative part that I saw out of the series. I think it's a cute love story. I think people are really going to enjoy this one. Don't know how many volumes are going to make, actually. So I'll review volume two. Like I said, I don't have the physical copy um, of volume two. I don't even think 
Volume 2 is out physically, but I'll review this, uh, the online copy that I received from Viz Media. Again, check them out. The links are there in the description below. Give some love to them. Give some love to, to my channel as well. Comment, like, and share. Uh, make sure you guys make a big fuss in this video. Uh, I will try to review more stuff for you guys through Viz Media. Um, I, I'm in this program now where I can actually review copies from them. So um, hopefully that continues and I continue giving more and more for, for you guys to to see. Thank you again for uh, the love and support that you show this channel. I'll see you guys next time. And guys, like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.